And new developments tonight in the showdown between Governor Brian Kemp and Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Mayor Bottoms reacting strongly today to an emergency injunction that, that's part of a lawsuit filed against her and the city council over the city's mask mandate. Now, Mayor Bottoms took to social media this morning saying the governor and Attorney General Chris Carr are trying to silence her from talking to the media about this lawsuit. In her post, she rejected the idea, saying far more have sacrificed too much more for me to be silent. Now, Kemp and Carr claimed the lawsuit was filed on behalf of Atlanta business owners. Earlier in the week, Mayor Bottoms and several other Georgia cities made masks mandatory in an effort to curb the rising coronavirus cases we're seeing here in the state of Georgia. Well, Governor Brian Kemp then issued an executive order on Wednesday overriding those local mandates. Mayor Bottoms fired back the next day, saying that her mandate would still stand. Later that evening, Governor Kemp and Attorney General Chris Carr filed that lawsuit. While legal experts across the state of Georgia right now are already weighing in on this, while there's not much of a consensus about what will happen once this case is heard, many agree, though, that this is going to be a tough case to try. Here's what one legal expert, Clark Cunningham, a professor of law at Georgia State University, told me today. So the question in this lawsuit is whether his effort to prevent Atlanta from having a mask order actually ensures that COVID-19 remains controlled? It doesn't seem that the answer is yes. It seems that preventing Atlanta and other cities from requiring the wearing of masks actually ensures that COVID does not remain controlled. Yeah, so Professor Cunningham basically said just because the governor is the governor and has more authority doesn't mean that this is a shut, a close and shut case. So there's really no word right now on when the Fulton County Superior Court will hear this case, but of course, we'll update you as soon as that happens.